Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Cities Skylines 2 game on your Windows computer and if you are receiving this error, which says general error, we are unable to parse the launcher settings file. Settings format version should be integer. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to fix the error, uninstall Paradox Launcher. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. First of all, close Steam. If the Steam is open, close Steam. And once Steam is closed, now open Control Panel. And then click on Uninstall a program over here. And then find Paradox Launcher. Now here you can see at the end, Paradox Launcher V2. Make a right click and then click on Uninstall. And then click on Yes. And let the uninstall complete. Now after the uninstall, once uninstall is complete, go to these locations. So open File Explorer, go to C Drive, so this PC, C Drive, open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data on the top, click on View, select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items, you should be able to see App Data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find the View option. Click on view and then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box. Put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data folder. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now over here find paradox interactive folder. So make a right click on paradox interactive. Make a right click on paradox interactive and then click on delete. Now once this is done, go back. This time open local low folder. And find if there is any kind of Paradox Launcher folder. In my case, it's not there. Go back. Now open the Roaming folder. Now over here also, if you find Paradox Interactive, make a right click and then click on Delete. Now go back. Open the Local folder once again. And then find Programs folder. Open Programs. Over here you also, you will find Paradox Interactive folder. Make a right click, then click on Delete. Now once you delete it, now you can restart a computer. Make sure that you restart a computer after this. And after the system restart, launch Steam as an administrator. So type in Steam in Windows search box and then make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and let the Steam load. Now once Steam is open, now you can go to library and then you can launch the game. Now this time when you launch the game, it will reinstall Paradox Launcher. So let the installation complete. So after you uninstall it, delete the Paradox from the app data folder, then restart your computer, open Steam as an administrator. And when you launch the game, this time it will reinstall Paradox Launcher. So here you can see it's uh, installing Paradox Launcher. And once that is done, it will open the launcher and then you can launch the game. You should not receive the error anymore. But still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can close. Still, if you, still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can close Paradox Launcher and then you can verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now even after the verification still you're facing the problem in that case you can uninstall the game and reinstall the game so you can uninstall after the uninstall restart a computer and then reinstall the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel